So I'm an orthopedic surgeon in San Francisco, and I focus on biologic joint replacement solutions. I put cartilage back in people's knees. So it's a little bit odd that I'm standing here in front of you. But 9-11 occurred. And like you, I was shocked and devastated when I saw people holding hands and jumping out of a building. Why couldn't those people get out? It turns out that fire ladders only reach to the seventh floor of most buildings. And most buildings are pretty pointy and no helicopter can land on the roof. If you're old or disabled, you're told to wait in the stairwell for rescue to come. That's not a solution. And it's a huge problem. There's 200 million of you who live and work in high-rise buildings. And there's 47,000 high-rise building fires each year. Some of you in this audience own these buildings. And you may find yourself trapped one day, and you'll really reimagine wonder then, when you wonder why the heck you can't get out. I couldn't believe there wasn't a solution. So I set out to solve it. I thought if I can reel in a 400-pound fish, I ought to be able to reel out a 400-pound person. So I hired an engineering team from Think to Build and laid out what the issues were. And it turned out that a personal rescue device, if you were going to have one, had to be small enough to fit in your file drawer. It would have to be lightweight enough for someone old or young to be able to use it. It would have to be adjustable for someone of any size or a child. And it would have to lower you at the safe rate of six feet per second, no matter what your weight, without you having to do anything. It would have to be user-friendly because you'd be using it in a panic situation. And it would have to have a fire-resistant cord so it didn't break on your way down. It'd have to be affordable so that it could be available anywhere. In a fire or panic situation, every second counts. So my contribution is that by the 10th anniversary of 9-11, New York City firefighters, firefighters everywhere, and you will have a solution. Thank you very much.